What does that fancy software do? So you load your headphones that you own. I guess I should double check that the ones I want to buy are in here. Yep, they're right there. So I pick mine, which are the, the AKG K240s. Um, I'm going to make a new video about them. About this software. So they literally have a constantly updated... Uh, library of headphone frequency response curves. So the before is the frequency response of my headphones. And then the accuracy is just like between the worst and best sounding headphones they've ever analyzed. Because if you order your headphones directly from them, they will literally give you the calibration for that exact pair of headphones. But this is just an average based on many different tests. So then they put a correction on it, which is essentially a curve in the opposite direction to give you a flat response. And then um, the after is roughly what you get. So I'll get rid of... So this is roughly what I'm getting when I mix now. And also I don't have them set to flat. I have them with a little bit of a boost in the low and high end, just cause I know that I tend to mix with a little bit too much low and high end. So I have the curve there. So yeah. It's zero latency. Um, and it also gives you a software version for your computer so that if it pretty much creates an output device for your computer. So if you're just listening to iTunes or watching YouTube, you could run it on your master output of your computer. There's a free trial for it. I think it's 14 or 21 days. And then I bought it on sale for $80 and it comes with three uh, installs like a license to put it on three different computers. It is an EQ for the master, yes. But so when I was doing research about using this software, I'm like, oh, well, can't I just find the frequency response curve of my headphones and then throw this thing on it and just essentially do what they're doing, which is like what that, and then something there like I'm really I'm really stretching it here but this introduces phasing this is a phase uh, coherent software and it also if you buy the studio version it also comes with room correction where they ship you an analyzer mic that you put where you sit and then it plays noise through your monitors and it captures the frequency response of your room and then gives you monitor correction. But since I don't like work in a professionally acoustic treated studio, I didn't buy that version. I just bought the $100 version for headphones and I've been using it for about two years now. And yeah, you can see there's just a little bit of latency, but that's, that's very low considering some of the latency you get on some plugins. And then you can turn this on. Oh, you can't see it. You could turn on avoid clipping, but it makes it really, really quiet. All it does is it takes the highest boost, so 13, 14 dB, and puts it at that point. But it really makes it too quiet. If I had a headphone amp, I would definitely just turn on avoid clipping. And it also gives me a way to check my mix in mono. You could just... While it's playing... It doesn't, it doesn't make anything delay or anything. See, honestly, I've had better luck with headphone correction than setting up my studio monitors in a shitty bedroom.